Hey everybody, welcome to the 750 Super Duty Build. In this episode, we are just going to prep these steel brackets that go right here. Uh, we're gonna get these all drilled out and match drilled into the airframe. These are the brackets that the wing struts attach to and that the landing gear is bolted to. So let's not waste any time, mostly because I have to go to work tomorrow. So let's get this done. Well, I have that steel bracket Clico to the airframe with a Clico here. I think there's a couple of them on the inside holding it. But the first step is to use the ruler, line it up with the line of rivets, and draw a line on the steel part. You'll see there's a horizontal line and a vertical line of rivets that need to be drilled. So those are the two lines that I'm marking here. Once those lines are drawn on there, I'm using this fan tool to evenly space three holes, or maybe I think it's four holes on there. There's four that go vertically and two horizontally. And I'm just using the center punch to punch them or to mark the holes. And then to drill these out, I do like to start with a smaller drill bit. I think I'm starting with a number 40. And what I do is I put a drop of oil on each hole. And I also usually put a drop of oil on the drill bit. I hate working with steel. I don't know a lot about it, but I'm pretty sure it helps to oil the holes or the drill bit. <laughs> so that's what I do. It does seem to make it a little bit easier and maybe prolongs the life of the drill bit. And when I can, I like to use a Scotch-Brite wheel to deburr all of the holes on the steel. Once that's done, I'm clicking it back in place because now the holes are drilled out to number 30. And what I'll do is now, you can see, I'll match drill all those number 30 holes into the airframe. For these two bottom holes on the bottom longer on there, I was going to use my angle drill to at least just mark on the steel from behind where those holes are located, but be I couldn't fit the drill bit in there because the drill was too big and it was hitting the side of the fuselage. Um, so what I did was I ended up just marking it with a marker. I just kind of traced along the hole, took it out of the uh, airplane and drilled those holes. And I think what I'm doing right now is I'm opening up all the holes now to a number 20 and it's just repeating the same process. I'll click it back onto the airplane and then match drill all the holes in the, the airplane now to number 20. I like to keep up with the metal shavings too, so I use my shop vac to clean out the airplane and also the floor under the plane. Well, the final step is to drill all of these holes out now to 3 16 You can see I've done two of them or three of them now with the gold color Clecos. So once the front end is done and drilled to 3 16 we can do the same exact thing to the back end of this bracket. Well, the whole process starts again. Draw two lines on the back end, remove the brackets, drill them out, put it on, match drill them, and then open the holes. Now, one thing I think it's important to check at this point is you'll notice this steel piece back here is bent, and you're gonna wanna check that the angle is bent this way, the same as the fuselage. And you can see right now, if I can get my camera close enough, mine is perfect. Uh, but I did have to unbend it just a hair. Like mine was, 
Mine was bent a little bit too far in, so I just put this part in a vise and kind of bent it out a little bit to where it is now perfect. So now that I've checked that, these are all drilled. These have come pre-drilled here. I have the two lines on here. I can take this off and drill those holes and then match drill them into the aluminum here the exact same way I did the front pieces or the, the holes in the front. All right, now that I have these match drilled to an eighth of an inch, I will open them up to a number 20 and then to a 3 16 and then the front and back will be done. All right, now that I have all these holes drilled and all these holes drilled and match drilled into the fuselage, it's time for these two holes in both of these tabs. And you'll notice this little uh, lip right here has five holes in it. So the first thing I've done is these right here are drilled out to an eighth of an inch and I've drilled them out to 530 seconds. And I'm gonna Clico this back onto the airplane and then I will use this tool here, the 90 degree drill, to match drill those into the fuselage. Now one of the things I wanted to mention about these holes and these holes is you may find a couple that don't line up. And to explain that, we're going to go back over to the edumacation board that we haven't used in a while. All right, I want to show you what you might notice with some of those holes. You might have a hole in your steel piece right here and then when you try to match it with a hole in the aluminum that's already drilled it might look like this so the holes might be off just a little bit but what's going to happen is you're going to drill through here and you're basically going to open up the holes to a 3 16 size like this so it really doesn't matter if yours if your holes are off a little bit a couple of mine are like that some of them match pretty well but when you, when you drill these out larger and larger, all the way up to 3 16 eventually you end up with one hole that looks just like that. Now when I match drill these holes here, I definitely wanna make sure that this piece is in place. And you can see that piece is just one solid piece of aluminum that comes down here and then bends around and comes here. And you can see that I have that bolted there to the gear channel and I just have regular nuts on there for now but I just want to make sure that that aluminum piece is in place so that when these holes are drilled it's you're going through that aluminum piece and you can see here's the three bolts I have just holding it in place all right I just drilled out these five holes to 530 seconds with a number 20 drill bit uh, it's a5 rivet size but A6 rivets go in here, but what I'm gonna do is I just drilled it out to 530 seconds for now. I'll put this back on the airplane, and from the bottom I'll drill up into these and match drill those holes. Too. Those five holes there. Well, I have this fully drilled and clecoed in place. There's two holes on the bottom, or the, there's four total, but two on each of the tabs that have to be drilled out to a quarter inch. That's done. You can see I have the bolts in there now. Um, they're not tight, they're just sitting in there because I have to take this off now, and I am ready to send this and a couple other parts to the powder coater. So thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully on the next video, these will be powder coated and permanently installed on the airframe. And we're getting closer and closer to getting it on its ears.